The second step of the forehand is to get your tennis racket all the way back and extend your other arm out across your body. Having completed my pivot and my shoulder turn, now I get to use my arm to take the tennis racket all the way back and at the same time I extend my other arm, my non-hitting arm, across my body about shoulder high and more or less in line with the baseline. If we clip to the front view and watch the motion from this perspective, from the completion of my pivot and my shoulder turn, I take the tennis racket back, it's behind me now, and again I've extended my other arm across my body, shoulder high and in line with the baseline. And this arm, this, my other arm, is going to help me balance and it's going to help me judge the oncoming tennis ball. Behind me is Oliver Ackley, the former number one player from Togo, at the completion of his pivot and his shoulder turn. From this position, he takes the tennis racket all the way back behind him, now with his arm, and he extends his other arm, his non-hitting arm, across his body about shoulder high and in line with the baseline. And that other arm is going to help him stay balanced and it's going to help him judge the oncoming tennis ball, which will be off here on the left in just a second. Let's now look at some pictures of Murat Safin taking his tennis racket all the way back. This first shot here is Murat at the completion of his pivot and his shoulder turn. And again, the racket has started to come back because his shoulders were turning sideways and not because he has used his arms yet to take the racket back. This next shot is from the side. And if we move in, he's let go of the tennis racket and he started to extend his other arm, his left arm in this case, out across his body. And that arm is going to help him with balance and it's going to help him judge the oncoming tennis ball. If we clip back to the front view, now we've got Marat having gotten his tennis racket all the way back, it's all the way back behind him, and his other arm is extended across his body, about shoulder high, and in line with the baseline. And from this position, his upper body is set, and now he can drop the racket down and swing forward to his contact point. 